Hey everybody, this is Jan and I'm going to be cleaning my living room today, trying to get the um, clutter out of it. So come along and join me. We're walking out of our dining room into our hallway and it just needs a little cleaning um, some vacuuming under there is really needful <laughs> sorry and but we're going into the living room now the living room is it's not that dirty it just needs tidying up a little bit just my heating pad for my leg so it's not really dirty I need uh, not really bad dirty I bought new curtains sorry they're hard to see but um I haven't got them hung, finished. I haven't got them hanging right. I just don't know if I like them. I have um, off-white lace ones for years and years and years, and that's me. But I need to get there and clean the windows. And he's going to clean out his spot. There's some towels that needs to go over to the work area. My son <laughs> lacks <laughs> to make a mess. No, <laughs> I'm just picking. He brings home. On receipts and puts them on that table so that's got to be cleaned off that's my mess so I can't say anything about him because I got a mess so that's got to get cleaned off and then you can see my little car that my husband gave me for my birthday but um, I'm gonna back off some I have to keep a quilt over the air-conditioned vent <laughs> right there because um, it blows it's cold but these are toys that the grandbabies came um, the day before yesterday and I didn't get them up and I didn't make them get them up so I gotta get them up and then this is my painting section <laughs> and um, my husband never tells me to clean up but I had mine in here and Daniel had his in the middle floor and he said I can't breathe it you know he was getting suffocated and I can totally understand how that is so um, but this is just some, uh, that's a uh, apple press. I want to make some apple, that's really weird because I'm looking at my finger through the lens and, uh, screen and then I'm looking over here and it's really, I look like I'm pointing over there. But this box is a apple press and so we're hoping to um, get it going and press some apple juice for the um, fall. But that's my canvas, and um, I haven't painted in a couple of months, y'all. That's really sad. I just haven't had time. So I'm going to get this cleaned out today, and um, we're going to go from there and see how things start to look. So come along with me. sweating y'all. <laughs> I think I better go cut the air conditioning up. Well, I sure hope it looks better because I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> and it was 73 in here so I did cut it down to 70 because when I sweat, <laughs> I don't like sweating. So I'm thinking today, um, since I'm cleaning the living room, I'm going to see if, I hope they're not, I know it's hot outside, so it's a bothersome, but I want to rearrange my furniture. Now, um, <laughs> I have to say, my, <laughs> my dad, um, when I was born in 65, and in 64, he had come home from work and he had laid down he just laid his head on the table and took a nap and when he woke up he was blind in both eyes and, uh, and he had a lot of health problems and so but the next day he had it back in his right eye but he never got it back in his left eye and they told him that he may never get it and so when I was born I got a lot of attention <laughs> but uh, they always told mama never to um, rearrange her furniture 
leave it like it is because if he does go blind at least he would know where everything was and so um, that's what she did and so other than you know when a couch wore out or something and, and got new furniture it always went back in the same spot so when I got married <laughs> if my furniture stayed in one spot for a month it was doing good she told me she used to tell me she said you should put your furniture on wheels as much as you move them around <laughs> and that was true because I like I said every month I was changing rearranging something but um I get in a cleaner mood and that's when I start rearranging it hasn't changed in 34 years but uh, the problem is now and I'm gonna turn you around if I can real slow is we have wood furniture <laughs> We now have hardwood floors too, and they get scratched up easily. But um, I think I want to move that couch over on this wall and move that couch over here and then move this chair over there. We'll see. Anyway, um, but it used to was nothing for me. I was young, of course, and I would slide it all over the carpet, so it wasn't a big deal. But now, it's because we have wood floors, excuse me. But we also is wood furniture, and so it's a lot heavier, especially that couch. That couch is whew, a whopper. It's he it doesn't look like it, but it's heavy. And um, so lots of times they'll have to move it for me, and I, if or somebody will have to help me move it. I can move it. I just have to have some help with it because it's so heavy. Um, I could be. I could put rugs. I mean towels under and slide it if I wanted to, but. I think I'll just wait and see if they'll feel like helping me rearrange a little bit. So, And that way I can get to the windows and no I won't get to the windows because I won't move the couch. <laughs> I may move the couch over here and move um, my chair over there. I don't know yet. We'll just see. But um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> well I decided to get in here and um, move the furniture myself. The guys have just worked so hard and it's so hot outside and I don't want them to have to come home and do that so I got busy and oh I tell you what that is one heavy rocking chair I'm pulling and pulling and pulling it so heavy there's no hardly no picking up just a suggestion for the people who make vacuum cleaners make the canister big enough so that you hit when you open it up it falls out and you don't have to stick your hand up in that dust and trash and stuff because your canister's too small Boy howdy, I'll tell you, that couch was heavy. But I want to know how in the world so much dust and trash and toys get behind a couch when nobody goes back there. It's amazing. So I'm going to introduce you to Roomba. She's a little loud, so I feel like I'm having to really talk loud to, over, um, to be heard over her. But she, it's an it, y'all, I know, but I call her the she. It vacuums the floor pretty good. Um, it likes to eat cords though. You have to move those cords out the way in order to get it to um, <laughs> to not eat your cords. But usually, I don't use it every day. I, you know, my house was a mess and I had stuff everywhere. So now that it's cleaned up, I'm letting her go back. I'll just be honest. When I keep my house clean and there's not a lot of stuff on the floor, she does a really good job getting. It does a really good job getting that clean and so now it's going into the living room and I hope it don't go in my bedroom because I don't have the door shut I'm not ready for it to go in there yet well when you know it it went straight to the end that I didn't want it to go into yet but that's what it does but I, you know, I have to tell a funny little story the other day the grandbabies come when I first got that thing years ago um, Abigail and Silas was scared to death of it and so it's just sitting in my kitchen it don't bother him and so the other day Silas decided he wanted it to clean so I said are you sure he said yeah and about that time I walked over there he jumped into the chair so they're okay with it now vacuuming as long as they're not down they don't want it to chase them but poor little Elizabeth she's one and <laughs> she's not usually scared of anything but when that thing cut on it, those alarms went up and she started crying. Pick me up. And I cut it right back off after a few minutes because I didn't want it to scare her. And I wanted her to be able to get down. And 
Every time we went to the kitchen after that, she did not want to get down. She wanted me to hold her. She was scared. She'd look at it. and So she's coming over tomorrow. I hope uh, she didn't have a problem with the kitchen. I won't cut it on. So I got my table cleaned off. And now you can see my little truck that my husband got from Hobby Lobby for my birthday. And it's so pretty. I love it. So I have to tell you the funniest story. The other day, um, I posted about cleaning up the living room and how um, I didn't change the furniture around because it's so heavy. Well, I decided to get in here and I changed it around. As you can see. Gotta do laundry. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I changed it around and my husband and son came home from work and my son looked at it and he said, who helped you? And uh, my husband looked at me, you and I came home earlier. <laughs> And give him one of those dumb looks, you know. Um, I said, well, I did it by myself. And it just surprised him. <laughs> but it was done, so that's a good thing. Well, I got the living room clean. Thanks for watching. Come back now.